Who really presents the biggest nuclear threat to the world? Iran? Members of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, who cooperate with the International Atomic Energy Agency? Or Israel, who refuse to sign the treaty and refuse to even admit they have nukes? Let's consider the nuclear weaponry Israel is believed to have. Up to 400 atomic and hydrogen nukes, including thermonuclear weapons in the megaton range. A range of systems, including neutron bombs, tactical nukes, and suitcase nukes. Delivery mechanisms, including Jericho intercontinental ballistic missiles with a range of 11,500 kilometers and offshore second strike capabilities using submarine launched nuclear capable cruise missiles. Whilst Iran has consistently denied developing nukes, Israel has repeatedly threatened the world with theirs. Israel operates a strategy known as the Samson option, a policy in which any threat to Israel will be responded to with massive nuclear retaliation. Samson is the biblical figure who destroyed a Philistine temple killing himself and thousands of Philistine enemies. An Israeli official is quoted in Seymour Hersh's book as declaring, we can still remember the smell of Auschwitz and Treblinka. Next time, we'll take all of you with us. General Mosh Dayan, a leading promoter of Israel's nuclear program, stated, Israel must be like a mad dog, too dangerous to bother. Martin van Kreufeld, a professor of military history at the Hebrew University in Jerusalem, said, Most European capitals are targets for our air force. We have the capability to take the world down with us, and I can assure you that that will happen before Israel goes under. Israeli whistleblower Mordechai Vanunu alleged that Israel blackmails the world with its ability to bombard any city all over the world, and not only those in Europe, but also those in the United States. Israel's threats to preemptively attack other countries have increased since Iran began enriching uranium for its nuclear energy program. Whilst it's unlikely Israel seriously believes Iran would attack them, Iran knows it would likely be obliterated if it dared to attack Israel with any form of weaponry. Israel cannot tolerate the possibility of a nuclear-armed Iran. Any challenge to Israel's nuclear hegemony could weaken its ability to use the nuclear threat in order to hold on to stolen Palestinian land. The nuclear-armed Iran might see Israeli citizens leave the country and its occupied territories. Investment could decline, reducing the finances needed to fund and maintain Israel's illegitimate expansion. Israel's large stockpile of nuclear weapons and the fact that many high-profile Israelis have declared that the country is quite prepared to use them if threatened should be of great concern to everyone. Israel and their neocon and Zionist allies in the US government pose a much graver threat to world peace than Iran. <laughs>